my god, I'm so excited about this game. Okay. New game, please. Who am I? I'm a lady. I'm a lady who wants to have pink hair again. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is cute as fuck. Okay, hang on. Uh, I mean, technically I wear my hair red a lot nowadays, but I want to go back to pink, so we're gonna do pink. I'm also pale as a motherfucker, so... I'm not- I'm not quite that pale, but we'll- we'll do that one. Oh my god, I could be gray. <laughs> Honestly, same, but <laughs> I'm okay. And my name is Serena. Oh my god, y'all, I'm so excited about this game. Ah! Okay. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. <laughs> she had so many kids. She didn't know what to do. I never want that problem. Then one day, a man <laughs> without wife or child came to the house with manner so mild. The man looked at the children, each a fair twin. I am your uncle, he exclaimed with a grin. He took them away to live in the Vale. In the land of Quill, the place of our tale. Then they slept, safe, warm, and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. Cute. Wake up. Okay, I'm up. Okay, normal walking. I can change the default speed. Awesome. Okay. Where does he want me to go? I can walk through the flowers. Cool. The fuck is that thing? <laughs> Hello there, dreaming one. Name's Pot. Let's have some fun. I was given a special task. Some intriguing questions must be asked. Step through the door with a brave face. Enter the very special place. I will meet you and give some choices so listen to your inner voices. Go now, child, and don't be glum. Visit the woods of what's to come. Then you're awake and we must part. The truth be known inside your heart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're here again. There's two doors. There's four doors now. Now let's start this audition. Tell me, child, your life's ambition. Run a business. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Not raise a family. I mean, I know that that's, like, important in this game. Let's follow fate. Your passion burns like a fire. Now tell me your heart's desire. Money. Fame. Freedom, love, love. A legacy you hope to grow, but remembered for, I must know. Things I created, I guess. Questions done now very good. I can see why Fairweather likes your blood. He gives this gift, so hold on hold it tight and wait for his call one misty night. Ah. 
Aha. Woke my ass up. Open. A mysterious gift. Glass lens. There you are. Come on over here. Okay. Come talk to me. Press E or left click and select talk. Well, that's one way to get out of doing any work. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Weird dreams, huh? You should hear about the one I had last night. But not now. We're supposed to be doing our chores, remember? And don't pretend you lost your journal, Lazy Bones, because I have it right here. <laughs> uh, journal with C. Okay. Uh, talk to me when you're ready. Okay. Pick a dandelion. Then pick one. You'll notice a clock appear. Feed the pig. I have nothing better than food except mud. Food and mud and sleeping. Food, mud, and sleeping. And being ridden around. Okay. They like a lot of things, but they won't like you unless you feed them. Throw something into their pen or interact and choose a feed option. Okay. Notice the job I added, huh? Well, it is your turn. It's right there on the calendar. I check mine every day to make sure I don't forget things. Maybe when you have time, you can work on that map you're always going on about. Thought you might like it with you. Open the map with M. Makes sense. Okay. And there's... Okay, so there's even more. Okay, dope. Cool, cool, cool. Almost forgot. Uncle Bill got us a satchel each so we can carry things we need. Wonderful. They're a bit old and musty, but they're ours. We never had anything like this back at the shoe. Inventory's eye makes sense, as always. So we got food, seeds, tools, key items, fruit and veg, lore. And then that's sorted from that. Nice. Okay. Love that. Anyway, I think that's it. Maybe once you finish your chores, you can start exploring. Can't wait to have adventures myself. I mean, isn't this place amazing? I still can't believe we're here. I always daydream some relative would show up one day and take us away from the shoe, but I never thought someone like Uncle Bill could really exist. Well, that's right. He wanted to talk to you about something. Better pop over to the house and see what it is. Okay. Why do you still want to talk to me? Nice of Uncle Bill to leave little signs around. Should I reading them? Okay. Um. Okay, so that's the map. This is what we're supposed to do. I'm not sure how to just throw it at the doctor. That's funny. I feel like I'm going to need these. Oh, the house is right there. Cute. <laughs> Quite expensive due to inflation. Get it? Because it's a gassy apple. Some fake creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. Brownie's been known to sometimes make it so. Okay, we'll, we'll read that later. Oh, did I pick it up? It's a lore book. Okay. Got it. Oh, there's the pig. Never drink from this. Okay. <laughs> Blueberry. Well, probably a strawberry. Yeah, I'm like, it looks like a strawberry. Okay. Hey, Bill. What's going on? How are you settling in? I hope you're not finding the tourists too much of a bother. I'm not as young as I used to be, so I can't do everything myself. Not that that's why I brought you here. Me and your aunt always wanted children, but we never blessed. If only she was here now. She always loved this time of year. The festival of summertide is coming up soon. The whole of the Vale will be preparing for it. Us too. We need the goddess Drita to smile on us and bring us prosperity. So I'm counting on you both to help. It'll be fun. You'll see. Okay. That must mean that there's mail? Mm, maybe not. <clears throat> What's this? This is the brownie ball. 
Not the brownie looks after your house and babes while you're away, but requires reward. He will curse you if you don't give him offerings. Oof. Only, yeah. Well, I'll just put a fucking apple in there, I guess. Just to make sure. <laughs> No seeds to plant. This looks like another lore book. Mm -hmm. I'll have to read those. I should just read them now. So I needed to get a dandelion? Yeah. honey if you have the right container like a bucket no not like a bucket <laughs> look at the seeds of the dandelion flower they point to the current hour yeah but I don't know what the dandelions look like there's another little thing here could is the healer's friend, it's useful, this knows no end. Oh, this must be a dandelion. There we go. Dandelions will make a clock appear on the top right of the screen if you don't already have a clock there. The largest seed points to the current hour. If it points straight down, it's six. Dandelion clock lasts 12 hours, so you'll need to pick another. Better clock may be available later. For now, nature can help you out. Okay, cool. So I did that. What's this? Map stone. Magically acquire an image of the whole region. Oh, shit. Okay, what are the other things I needed to do? Feed the pig. Use a wooden bucket to scoop up poo. Feed truffles. I don't have any. Oh, the pig's name is Truffles. I'll feed him an apple. Cool. So now unlock the map. Find the map stones in this region. So I need to find another map stone. I already found one. What's in here? Great berries only appear when nine dark bells ring so clear. Mm. Most NPCs can be married no matter what gender. The only exceptions will be those who are goddess blessed like masters. Like it looks like... Okay, cool. I got it. Discover all the map stones at a single location. Is that not what I just did? Oh, no, because that's the dreamer's nook. It's not, not part of the... Okay, so this is a separate area, so it's not the same. Let's look elsewhere around the farm for the other one. Oh, the pig pooped. How do I... Ah, like that. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Proverb Hobtooth gives you oomph for night, but also gives you scaredy fright. Okay. Okay, let's read the... Today's the first day of summer. Okay. 
Uh, didn't I find a second one? These are the different proverbs that I picked up. Oh, it's gotta be useful books. Okay, so lore books and useful books. Okay, so what's a was it? Just what is it? Some fake creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. The brawny has been known to sometimes make itself known as do the gillywiddle, the thatterway, and the fnardy fnarner? <laughs> Which I bet you struggled to say. I did! However, the most common of these little creatures is the waziet. What is it? Uh, when a person is new to an area, they may see these sparkling little entities fluttering around points of interest. Oh, okay. Those, yeah. If something is of use, the wa wadizit will draw attention to it. The wadizit will not go away unless the object is interacted with. It is as though the creature is insisting that it has your full attention. Once satisfied, the wadizit will fly away happy. Well, as happy as a floating, blinking, glowing, flappy eye can be. Okay, rad. Um, the Pig Rider's Guide to the Galaxy. Cute. Are you new to Quill? Have you come beyond the eternal mists that ring our fair land? Or are you from some uneducated muffin from Deep Stone? Maybe you just banged your head and forgot. You might even be some kind of ethereal tutorial <laughs> and need to know things quickly. Well, here are some reminders of how things work. Firstly, the land is ruled over by six fake goddesses. They are Drita, the orchards, Nida, fertility, frail fields, Hylas, death and rebirth, Morwenna, beasts, Aurora, seasons. Each day, the people of the land make offerings at goddesses' statues to the fey deities and put food on their own offering bowls to appease the clan Brawny. Uh, the land is covered in mystery, and invisible creatures walk among us under the ever-watchful gaze of the goddesses. It's advised you read everything. There's no su substitute for taking note of what people tell you, and a lot of the things, a lot of how things work, you need to learn for yourselves, old school. Okay. I guess that was it because it didn't let me move pages. Trader, what traits are? What are those strange little symbols you see above people's heads when you give them items? It's a trait, of course. Most consumables will apply a trait to the consumer that can affect stats, affect their personality, or even cause a reaction. You can check what these symbols mean on the character status screen and by viewing yourself or the NPC affected. Highlight one for tool tips. Permanent traits and temporary. Many traits have an opposite, which when applied will cancel out the active one. Up to three traits can be active at once on any living thing. Use these to your advantage. Someone too good at bartering? Lower their barter stat. Once a fun, apply flatulence. <laughs> okay. That's kind of lulls. Okay. So this is where the first map stone was. Looks like I really just need to go down to the city, I guess. Do I have another quest? That's the map. No. I guess I can technically go further that way. Oh, it's like locked. Okay. Oh, there's another book right here. Clear as folk. The truth locally acknowledged that there's no place more peaceful, tranquil, and lush than Quill, nor people as friendly, helpful, and uh, oblivious as Quillians. If you want to live a full life, avoiding the pitfalls others have fallen into in the past, you ought to listen to the wisdom of these honest folk. Wherever you go in this fair land, you'll come across vital pieces of knowledge scrawled on bits of weatherproof paper left behind by some generous soul. Whether they're about to abide by laws and custom, about how to abide by laws and customs, make the best of nature's bounty, or face some of the dark perils that lurk beneath the surface, you're sure to find them all helpful. Well, most of them. 
Of course, some knowledge isn't written on any scrap or tome, and you'll only find it on the tongues of people you meet. Not literally, of course, but become friendly enough with such sages, and those tongues are bound to loosen. Be sure to collect each saying in your journal so you can refer to it often. There's much you can learn yourself from things you find in the world if you study them carefully, whether bird, beast, flower, or anything else. So go out, learn, and explore. The old proverb says, you can't lead a horse to water because they're extinct. What? <laughs> so it only let me go. Well, I guess there's stuff in the house. Oh, I was supposed to go in the house. Whistles, greetings. Can I pick up? Okay, there's a lantern. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you, considering what's happening. My time to relax a bit and enjoy the world. Okay, bye. <laughs> Use this when you're older. Oh. I can make little recipes. I don't have all of the stuff for them because I don't have the honey yet. But that's cute. There's another book right here. Matey Bubbles. Hey friend, this is just a small note to remind you about the help available to all. F3 on the myst mystical thing they call a keyboard. <laughs> That's funny. Or the clicking in of the right stick will make any interactive objects be highlighted by a helpful bubble. Select one or more information. You can also use F1. Uh, for help when it's displayed. Additionally, there is a hints and tips section in the options menu. Links to a wonderful wiki. So friend, if you're ever in a stew and don't know what to do, help is but a button away. Okay, cool. Animal control for village idiots. Doggone cat napping, pig won't fly, she backing woolly. You need the power of your lips. Just put your lips together, blow outwards, and whistle. You can bring up a list of all your pets and own animals by pressing tab. From there, you can summon your faithful four or two-legged friends to your side. Ask them to stay put or send them home. Quillian animals are fiercely loyal and have truly great senses, so they always know their way home. The whistle will also help if you lose them, as animals are known for getting distracted by the call of nature, the smell of pies, and generally anything glittery. Relatable. <laughs> Why would I want to wake up in the evening? I think I'd want to wake up in the morning, yeah? I don't know. I feel like there's still more things for me to explore. How do I talk to... I'm not trying to talk to Uncle Bill. I'm trying to talk to my sibling. Oh, well. Guess I can't. Cow! I love that. Watering can. Cabbage. Carrots. Okay. There was another little building up here that apparently I can't go into. What's this? Homestone. I'm feeling sleepy. Okay. So it is like Stardew and the fact that I have to have to actually go to bed. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Oh, my cat. You're making an appearance, are you? I guess we'll I'll sleep from 11 to 6 a.m. You'll awaken at 6 a.m. Okay, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I could have just slept. You didn't have to. 
Okay. Whoa, more dreams. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? We about to plant a tree, no? Oh god, it grabbed me. Ah! The fuck is that? Fairweather, do you fear the shadows, my child? Or do you feel them calling you? You should hold them close and listen. The Kenseed has chosen you for greatness. We'll speak again as summertide fades and your closed eyes will be opened. Now, wake up. Yo, what the fuck?